Hello everybody, in today's video I have an unboxing from Pelican Puzzles. Pelican is a wood puzzle uh, manufacturer and he has uh, mass produced a number of one of my puzzles again. And uh, so he sent me two copies as usual and I gotta say this box is very very big um, for two puzzles. Uh, but maybe he just packaged it really really well. Uh, I'm actually having to stand <laughs> over my camera with my camera way high in order to get this shot because the, the box is so big. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. I think I may have, there we go. I don't want to actually cut the puzzle by accident. So Ugh. oh, I got bubble wrap. I got bubble wrap. I gotta do it, guys. Ah, oh, I can't do it. Ooh, there we go. One more. Yes. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, check out these puzzles. Well, that's not that's not cross cut. So that's something else, which cross cuts the puzzle I did. Neither is that. So let's uh, keep digging here. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Here's some more stuff. So that's cross cut. I can see it already. And then I should have two copies and there's a second copy. Well, so it's in there and then inside here is more bubble wrap. All right. So Let's get a little bit closer and check this stuff out. All right, so this is the first one. So let's go ahead and open it up. So open this, cut this side, cut this side. Oh, I seen these on his website. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is a small little puzzle. Very nice. Do these move? Something's got to give here. Anyways, let's check out the second one. So this looks like a bigger version of the second one. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Wow. The quality of this guy's work is it's actually amazing. <laughs> so that's uh, a big one and a small one. But now on to what I'm really excited about, the puzzle I designed that he has made a number of copies of. Ah. So this is called Crosscut and it's a nine piece, nine piece puzzle. Wow, that's awesome. Um, so I designed this quite a while ago actually and, uh, and I wanted to make a copy or like order one from someone to build but never got around to it. Um, and then it was asked if, if he could build it. So I was like, yes, I finally get to try one of my own designs again and um, just trying to find another move. Something like that, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> wow, I can't even find moves on my own puzzle. Oh, look at this. You can kind of see, see if I can zoom in a little more. It says cross cut, but some of it's missing. He's actually carved out the name of the puzzle in there, which is totally awesome. Like the craftsmanship on this is extremely nice. Like, let's see if I can get this back. I mean, look at the fit. The fit of those pieces is just so perfect. Amazing. So anyways, guys, I am going to take this apart and then show you the pieces. So let's do that. All right, everybody, so I've got this thing completely disassembled, and it took me a little while to figure it out. There's some tricky moves, but it's only a level 13, so it didn't take all too long. It only took about half an hour or so. 
Anyways, um, this is the piece here that has cross cut put into it, as you can see. And on the other side of it, it's got um, the number. So there's 32 of them made, and this one is number two. And I'm not sure if my other one is number one. Uh, I'll share that on Facebook at some point. If you want to follow me there, the link's at the top of the description. I update things quite often there. Um, but if it, I wouldn't be surprised if it is number one, but if it's not number one, and uh, Jacob wanted to uh, keep number one for himself, that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, so that's number two of Crosscut. If you happen to have this puzzle, let me know which number you've got. Um, so yeah, that's uh, one of the pieces. And then you can see that these two are actually completely identical aside from um, you know, the engraving on there. This is what another one of them looks like. Uh, this is another one. This has got some symmetry to it. This one also has some symmetry to it. And this one does not. <laughs> this one's kind of the oddball. And then here, we've got a very simple kind of cross piece for cross cut. It's quite a simple looking piece. Uh, this one's got some extensions in here coming out. And this one here has just got some pieces in the middle. So anyways, guys, this is cross cut. Uh, it's a very nice design. It's a very simple design. If you're looking to get into your first burr puzzle and uh, you also maybe want a puzzle that was designed by myself, uh, this would be a really good option. This would be a very good first puzzle for burrs because it's only a level 13. It's not extremely difficult. It's got some tricky moves, but it's, uh, it's definitely doable for a beginner and uh, it's very solid. This thing is put together extremely well. I'm very impressed. I've always been impressed with Pelican's work and uh, I know that he's working on a couple more of mine which are extremely exciting. I think you guys will love them. Uh, even if you're not a fan of burrs, just the look of them are awesome. So, and it actually has to do with a movie that's coming out very soon. Anyways guys, uh, you can pick one of these things up at Pelican's website. The link is at the top of the description. Um, you might want to hurry, they do go fast. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on my next video.